or go around. I can go around. It'll be fine. I can probably walk on this. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna go for the run. I think I can run across this pretty quick. I need him to stop. Maybe right there. Ooh, right on the head. Ooh. And there we go. So let's just craft it. Nothing standing between us and wolfness. But I made this, and I'm gonna wear it. Also, now we're heavy. Okay. Welcome, welcome. So we're back. We are in... Forlorn Muskeg, and we're still kind of on the north side. We need to get to the south side. We need to get to the forge again, but weather had other ideas last time. This time, that's it. That's the only thing I want to do, and I want to map that one ridge, but we need to get down to the place first. Now, we have some fire left. Um... Let's weather check real quick. Because I already forgot what it was last stream. Alright, light snow, no wind to speak of. Alright, we'll try and take some stuff with us. What do we got? Um, I could take pelts. We're already carrying too much, it seems. Now we have some firewood we didn't drop off. I know we have a ton where we're going. I'd be on only really interested in coal. So let's drop these off. What else do we got? Right. We got that flare to get rid of. Do we have enough water to make there? Yeah, we have enough. We also have a bunch of this food. Okay. We'll eat the ruined meat as much as we can. We'll drop some. Sure. Um, that's enough water. We're good. And I think we have enough rest to make it as well. So the question is, what am I carrying that I can drop off? Looks like I have some sticks. Those can go. We'll take one of them. I wonder if I should take another piece of coal just in case. There's also all these matches. Which I guess are going to end up on the table or something. Oh. I'm carrying boots. I'm not trying to bring those with. Anything else? Burnt out torches I could leave behind. Ammo I could leave behind. Is there anything I want to drop inside? Probably these. That's fine. But now we gotta pick that up. There's another three kilograms. Pull some torches. I guess we can leave couple of them here. And we have cans, so we don't need to worry about that. That was a good torch. Ah, All right, we'll just light the uh, lowest one. All right, hope these don't blow out. Not leaving any security fire happening back here, but that's okay. So if it goes out, it goes out. Alright, first thing we can get rid of is this. That should get deleted. We can leave some extra ammo here. We don't need it right now. Everything else I kind of want to bring with us. I'm starting to think I'll never use the thermos. We should have enough coal. We'll probably map a couple areas over there. And we do have a lot of torches. <laughs> we have a book we can read as well. We have all these things. We could make repairs to our mittens and everything, but we don't need it right now. We'll just have to get more of those guys later. We'll bring the matches. Eh. Yeah, we'll bring the matches with us. Might as well just get on the move. Alright. So if I can, I'm just going to head straight down this river. The temperature looks pretty good. So air temperature negative 35. Wind chill is actually negative 16, so it's picking up. I may not be able to bring my torch all the way across. 
Oh, still can't quite lift this arm right. But we are working on it. Range of motion is slowly increasing. <laughs> Enough to pick up a napkin and kind of toss it in the trash. There we go. I don't know if I need to run. I don't feel like running because I don't have full rest. Of course, I don't know how far I'll make it. And since we are over encumbered, I'll probably just leave any torches that burn out behind us. We should have one stick to start fires with. Ugh, what is that big animal right there? Is that a stump? <laughs> stumps are the biggest animals, aren't they? That could be the bear. I think those are stumps up there. It's hard to tell. I'm just going to try and head straight to the railroad tracks. If I can make it all the way to the south side today, that would be ideal. That would be... That would be the best possible result for me. But I gotta watch out for that bear. Oops, no, don't put it out. We're gonna need that. I may or may not need more rocks. Alright, let's change torches. It's close enough. <laughs> A stick over here. Ice holding to holding it together. The wind seems to be increasing, and now I hear a wolf. Um, I can't tell if this is the shortest path. I might need to run here or go around. I can go around. It'll be fine. I can probably walk on this. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna go for the run. I think I can run across this pretty quick. That was kind of quick. Alright, I don't know where the bear is. I think my play, if I do encounter the bear, is still go for the flare gun. Alright, we're about halfway there. We're almost to the poachers camp. There's a cairn over there. So from the poachers camp, basically going straight south across the lake will get us to the where we want to go. Ugh, I feel like the weather's changing. I don't see the bear. Where's the bear? Alright, well, we're heading south. There's a carcass or something up there. No wolves yet. Lucky path, I guess. Okay, I need to make it across this ice. I don't think... Oh, that's not a carcass. Is it? Nope. Okay. Might want to change torches soon. Weather check. Negative 17 wind chill. We're still not getting cold very fast, but I'm worried about the wind blowing out my fire. Might want to change the torch pretty soon. Hey, give me one second.
Okie dokie. Back to the game. <laughs> uh, the wind looks like it's getting crazier. I think I can make it if I go down this way. The long ways. Oh, if we make it there, there's a bunch of food waiting for us. As well as a ton of fuel. I just don't know where that bear was. I don't know if there's wolves on any of these places over here. I think we've already seen everything we need to see out here. We're not losing temperature too fast. So that gives us a little... Maybe we can spend a little bit more time making a smart decision rather than rushing into things. Although I may still want to make a little bit of time. <laughs> the weather could change quickly. And there's a wolf. The fire's holding up for the moment. Fire to his face, fire to his face. Alright, he's going correct directions. So that's good. He's going away from where I want to go. That's good for me. The wind does look like it's picking up. Dang it. I also don't have that second flare, but I'm sure there's one back at the forge. Oh, there's another wolf over there. He's on one of those islands over there. And the wind is just slowing me down. I don't know if there's another way to go. I think I have to go towards this wolf. Let me um, make a fire here. In this tree. Just in case. So it does seem to be sheltered from the wind. So if I make one here, this can potentially... We can get a new torch lit. In case, that, in case it goes out right as we approach that wolf. So maybe 30 minutes? Two more, two more sticks. Alright, let's see if we can make it past the wolf. If not, I'm running back to this tree. There might be a stick over there. I can't tell. The wolf right there. I'm going to try to go this way. I think I still need to go farther right. I'm going to need to change torches very soon, too. So the wolf will be, yeah, right there. <laughs> There's a carcass over here, though. I feel like I could get maybe some feathers from. So we'll change torches right now. I think he's, he's fine over there. I don't see any feathers over here, though. So I'll keep moving. Moving along. All right, where are the docks? Oh, still way over there. Well, I can't make it across any of that ice, so I'm gonna have to just hang out at these islands and see if any of them have chains that head that way. Back that way is the cave that I have a bunch of stuff in. I could stay there, too. There was a wolf hanging out there this entire time. Still haven't killed it. <laughs> Just dealing with it. Okay, so... I'll take these sticks, but then it looks like we do have to backtrack and go across the docks as if we were coming from the cave. So maybe we will head back to the cave first. I'm not sure. Let's see where this... Ah, we're pretty close. We're pretty close to the farm. But we can make it to the farm. Yeah, we're gonna have to go across that bridge. Or along next to it, or back behind it, or something like that. Now, there were a couple deer... Not deer. Wolves here last time I was here. There are probably some deer, too. I think I can go this way. 
I don't think this ice will break. Not the part with the snow on it. Weather's changing for the better. The wind is still 17. But I'm assuming it's kilometers per hour. Do I want to go across here? Ooh, it worked. I wasn't sure if that was going to work. So I want to get the fire started at the forge. That way it'll be protected from the wind. There could be wolves all over any of these parts. I guess I'll walk past the feather farm. It looks like I could start the fire with a magnifying lens if it did go out. So I'm not complaining about the nice weather. Also, this would be great for mapping. So I think we should just grab what we need and move along as quickly as possible. Gonna need to change my torch pretty soon, but we're gonna check out to see if there's any feathers over here. We got one, it was worth the trip. Two, doubly worth. Oh, we got all four, that's crazy. We might've just not picked those up yet because there were wolves over here before. So how can I make it past this fence? There we go. Fence bypassed. We're gonna need a new torch though. All right, right now. 49%, we're up to the good ones. There should be a bunch more torches around here somewhere. I'm hearing a wolf, but I don't see any. I thought I saw a bunch of sticks on the ground. Oh yeah, let's get that fire started first. Oh, there's the wolf, he's over on the other side of the farm. That's okay, we're just going this far. Let's get this fire started so that we at least have something. Oh, we can even get some more water going too. Yeah, I can use the torch. I don't want to put the torch out just in case the sun decides to go behind some clouds and then I can't use the mag lens anymore. Come on. Come on. All right, there's sticks. Let's put this out. That's still a good torch. Let's go ahead and put some water on here. There's that. Now what? So we've got a wolf out there. We've got more feathers out there. I've got all this food that I... What? Where'd my food go? <laughs> Did I eat it all? Did I eat all my food? There's some of it here. Um, I don't know if matches degrade, but I've never seen any below 50%, so I'm just going to put them all in there. What else goes in there? I've got a book I can read. I guess the stim can stay. I could make those teas. I also do have... How many torches do I have? Less than 10. Let's take these. Wait, how many do I have now? Oh, they're all crap. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, so I could... How many sticks do I have? Alright, there's five. There's ten. Let me try to make some arrows here real quick. Fire-hardened arrows, we'll use our... I can make six of them. That'll take 44 minutes, the fire will be just about done, we'll use up our feathers. We'll be warm, for sure. Alright, so two hours and ten minutes, 23 minutes until that's done. Let's go ahead and harvest this. So I could either try to find one more feather and make some more arrows. We'll put our extra arrows in this locker. Let's see, where'd they go? So now I got 21 fire hardened arrows in there. Nice. And I think a regular one somewhere. Oh, right, we need another flare. That's right. Alright, that's taken care of, that's taken care of. I don't think I need anything else. I might need another sewing kit. I think we're just going to be making the wolf skin coat with the... Uh, I thought this was 98%, the Travoy. Strange. Alright, no more feathers. Uh, we did want to drop something off at the table. I forgot what it was. Was it medicine? No. Oh, 
I thought I wanted to drop something off here. I can't remember now. It doesn't appear that there was anything to drop off. Strange. Alright, whatever. So I thought there would be food here. There's not. There's clothing. Newspaper. There's crates I could break down. I think we just gotta move on. Let's see. Metal, right? Not much. Got some charcoal. Got some books. Now we do need to go where that wolf is. I think all of my food is at the cave? <laughs> Along with another match that I could take. I don't need it, though. I don't need any of that. I'll come back for it one day. Alright, what's this water doing? It's almost done. Let's pull torches. I don't need this many torches. We're already over-encumbered. Oops. We're not, I'm not placing anything. There's just a lot of room for these torches to be grabbed. How much time do I got? An hour 27? Dang, that's a lot. Uh, maybe take 12 torches with me, because I'm going to have to burn through a couple while I map. And I still need to make it all the way to Broken Railroad. Now, the weather's super nice this afternoon. Oof, that was pro possibly the worst torch I could have grabbed. That was probably a 20% flat. <laughs> that one, too. That one's probably 24%. Alright, there's that. There's water. We're good on that. Alright. Uh, I need to drop these torches. Well, I could probably put them in here. There's enough room. Alright. Let's sort. Not that one. Let's see. There. That's 13. I don't think I want to go back to the cave. We just ate down a lot of our food is all. <laughs> and we do have a book to read, but not today. Next time there's like a blizzard or something. Alright, first I'm going to go to check out and see if there's any feathers right there. And then there's a wolf right over here somewhere I'll have to scare off. And then there's a bunch of sticks to pick up apparently. I don't know if I want them. I guess I kind of do. Sounds close. Why does it sound like more than one? Alright, do I need to shoot this guy? Is it just him? That was a lot of snarls. Okay, there were two wolves. Kind of close. I need to make it around this fence. <laughs> Alright, so he's still a problem. There's a deer carcass over here. That's where I'm going to find my feathers, if there are any. I'll need to change torches just about as soon as I do that. And then I need to go up that ridge over that way. So there's probably going to be more wolves. Dang, I don't see any feathers. Oh well. New torch. Yeah, there's the wolf. I don't know if he's going to see me, but I'm coming up. He'll have to figure it out. There is a cave that way, too, by that. But I can't go that way. I have to go around that way. So up we go. Or at least around. I wonder if he'll see me. There's more sticks in there, too. That's a lot of sticks. Alright, I'm not saying no to the sticks. Let's just figure out where this wolf is. Not trying to get jumped. <laughs> oh, he ran away. Okay, he's running away from me. Or my coat, or something. 
Alright, I need to go around, and I don't know if down is one of the ways to do that. <laughs> I think I have to go back that way. Yeah, I don't think I can go around that way. No feathers. Just four left. See if I can make it up there a little bit before he gets any closer. This way he'll run away from me, probably. Or maybe I'll just let him track me for a little while. I kind of want to see. I think that. Alright, let's just drop this. Alright, he's over this hill. Here he comes. Go a different way. I need a different torch. Okay. Another wolf? Okay. I guess that's where he went. Yep. So, wolf play. We're gonna play with wolves today. Alright, he went the correct direction. Good. Go away. Specifically that way. Alright, there's sticks back there. I'm not too worried about it. There's sticks this way too. I might need to drop some of these sticks off at that cave. But it's good to have them. Yeah, there's a lot more sticks. And mushrooms. I forgot there's like 60. There's like 60 unprocessed mushrooms at uh, the other cave. Alright, so we don't have this broken tower mapped. I don't have this sapling taken. Have I been to this cave or not? Maybe I haven't. Well, whatever. We're almost at another place where we can call a base. This cave is usually pretty good. I hear another wolf over here, apparently. Maybe I'd been across this way, but there's always been a wolf here and I was avoiding it, so I never went up to grab this. But now I have this, so... There. <laughs> uh, alright. Let's go for some of these sticks. Oh man, there's so many. I have to grab all of them. I can't say no. These are gonna be much appreciated when we get them all the way back to the cave. I'm carrying so much junk. I will take a moment to acknowledge that that is a factor in wolves deciding whether or not they want to attack you is how much you're carrying. Like, if you look over encumbered, if you look like you might be an easy target, that makes them more aggressive. Or make them, makes, makes, it weighs on their decisions. To be aggressive so I am unnecessarily endangering myself oh I need my shoulder to loosen up a little bit okay new torch I think I saw 2% <laughs> we'll just let that one be we'll get it later there's probably more sticks out here. I'm gonna go straight towards the cave. It's still mapping weather. Feels like 9. It's because the air temperature is only like negative 25. Which is super warm. Uh, I guess I should probably pick up a few of these. Because sometimes sticks disappear when you go into the cave. Or the wind can pick up and blow my torch out because I'm dawdling. These are the two sides of the coin. <laughs> the, the sticks might disappear due to a glitch, or my torch might get blown out and not have a fire anyway. Oh, we're over encumbered to the point where we can't even sprint a little bit.
It's almost done. Okay, so the wolf is on the other side. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. I swear we've been in this cave before. Haven't we? Have we never been here? Then there might be some loot by that tower. I'll have to go check it out here in a second. I can't go any faster. <laughs> Ugh, okay. Okay, this kind of looks like a cave I've been to. Yeah, this is where I would put the things. Yeah, this is one of mine. Alright, let's drop all these sticks. Well, I guess let's get the fire started first. Take the extra charcoal. Light this, maybe give it, I don't know, two hours, and then we'll go explore. Oh, maybe we should just give it four hours. A nice long fire. Yeah, 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 we'll give it four hours. We have enough sticks for this. Something like that. And then, uh, while we're getting this sorted, let's go ahead and make some water. We're gonna need that at some point. We only have, like, one bottle over here. How much am I carrying? Two? I can drop those. I can drink this. I didn't realize I was carrying so much water. Oops. Eh, it's okay. Uh, we're gonna use our bearskin bedroll right here. Perfect. What else can I drop off here? The sticks, yeah. Now it's time. Uh, how many torches do I have? Yeah, I want to pull some more. Okay. Let's put a couple more sticks on here. Come on. <laughs> Alright, two more sticks, and then I think, or two more torches, then I think we're good. We'll take those out. Um, anything else I'm leaving behind? Can we search this dude? Yeah. Anything to leave behind with him? We still need to drop off those sticks. But other than that, I think we're doing alright. Oops. Reverse alphabetical, that's what I'm used to. There we go. Yeah, it's a lot. Um, right, there is a sapling I can leave behind, there's the sticks I can leave behind. Let's leave it all. Um, and then I can leave this, and this, and these, and this. All right. And the Travoy, really. Well. Stop it. Stop trying to put out the torch. We're going to put it on our friend over here. We'll, we'll leave it to him to carry. Alright, you got a couple things for us. There's one. Two. You can carry the book. We're not going to need that. The flashlight. This. That. The thermos. We'll bring everything else. All right. Uh, we'll check the map super quick. So we are down here at a place that's not yet mapped. Perhaps we should map that first. Let's do this. I don't know if we'll get the tower in there. Okay, so that's where we are. There's our cave, there's our corpse. There's our burnt out torch. We'll put it with the other one. Take this water. Alright. I'm going to try and map a little bit more. So I don't really care about the tower. It doesn't do anything. But... There's a ridge that goes to the other side that I do want to get mapped. And I want to get this 
um, Memento Cache, which I thought would be up on this ridge. If it's down, we'll get it before we go to Broken Railroad. That'll be a tomorrow thing. But we're almost ready for Betty. So, I think there's a wolf just over this ridge, too. So, let's see if I get jumped or not. And since I have been here before, I likely have gotten any loot that would be over here. Yeah, I don't see anything. Except sticks! We'll take the sticks. I still think there's a wolf somewhere over here. I guess it's possible that the wolf I could have been hearing is down on the lake. Or the one from before. Just further back. Oh, there's a whole thing of trees over here. Okay, let me just check out the rest of this ridge real quick. This might be where the bear is staying, too. Not up here, but, like, I might be able to see the bear cave. Like, down there or something. I don't know if that's a bear cave. I don't think it is. <clears throat> I kind of want to try mapping as soon as I switch torches here. I'm going to try and make it to the end and see if I can't get the transition zone and any other stuff <laughs> mapped out. Before this torch goes out, perhaps? Maybe? I don't know. There's a cairn here. Is it story written? No, it's not. Most certainly isn't. The other thing I was thinking is there might be ptarmigan up here, but I don't see any, so... Either I've scared them all, or that it wasn't the place. I think I need to switch torches. Is this the end of it, though? Oh, I definitely need the switch. Okay. Regardless of whether or not I've made it to the end. Oh, I haven't. There's a bridge. So, there's a... There's birds over there. They're around some, torp some type of corpse. I don't know if... Mm, whatever, I can just run across this tree again if there's a problem, right? Right? Can't I make this? Yeah, I can make that run. Okay. So we have an escape route. So I'm going to try to go down here and see what's up. If I can find that memento cache right now, that would be really cool. Otherwise, we're up on a ridge somewhere. So that bear could be over here is what I'm thinking. Alright, so here's the birds. They're right here. Of course, I can't see what's going on. Most likely, it's down below this arch, which will be something... Yeah, so there they are. And I can't tell if there's a memento cache next to them or not. I don't see anything. There might be. Or it might be up here somewhere. I don't think there's a way back up easily. There's another cairn down there. I don't know if I've been down there. I'm not seeing anything up here. Where are these birds at? They're like right here at my level. I wonder if I can shoot them. They're right there. I could probably hit them with a rock. Okay. It doesn't look like I can make it back up this thing. So I guess I'll just... Oh man, should I try to map? Change torches and map right here? Maybe on top of that thing? If I can get up there. I'm a little bit far away from my bridge of safety. Uh, see, I don't think a bear would follow me across the log if I did run into... Oh, there he is. He's right there in the corner of the screen. I'll put him there in the top left. Yeah, he's, he's chilling. He's hanging out way over there. I'm going to need to change torches pretty soon. Oh, you know what? I'll bet this is his cave right here. I can't prove it I can, unless I go down there. I don't want to go down there right now. We're running out of time to map, though, so I need to make a choice. Let's grab a good torch at 40% or above. I think I'm just going to map right up top there, maybe. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I don't know... We'll, we'll see. I can't tell what the weather's doing, really. Alright, we're like right there. So yeah, the memento thing is right there by the corpse, somewhere over there. We can't, we're not close enough to map that. We'll see how much torch we have left. A little bit. Enough to move. Enough to go back over the arch. 
I don't see anything else up here on this little island. And I don't see another good way up. So I think that's a I think that's a tomorrow thing. Like after we're ready to leave and go to Broken Railroad, which I really don't have the energy for right now. <laughs> Astrid is about to fall asleep. <laughs> But yeah, it looks like the memento cache was just a little bit further to the left than the arch. But we'll see. It's down there somewhere. I don't see any other wolf up here. I might try to map one more thing before the sun sets. Well, now I'm hearing ptarmigan. I don't know where they are. But I have to change torches very soon, so I hope I make it around to the other side. I don't know where that bear went. Is he still out there? Oh, he's still out there on the railroad track. Okay, we're good. I'm going to try dropping this torch, but I'm going to try doing it much closer to the ridge. Oh, God. Well, that's as close as we can get. I hope I didn't scare every ptarmigan. No, they're still there. I hear, I hear the calls. Okay. So I should be able to see the pathway to Broken Railroad up from this bridge here. Or this ridge. I don't think there's anything else to grab over here. Alright, there it is. Okay, so I don't want, I'm not interested in dropping the torch off the end. Don't you roll off. You're gonna stop, right? Okay. Map. And I can't see it. Oh well, that's fine. We tried. Um. I think I need to light a new torch, throw it down, try to get a tarm again, then come back for the torch. Or light a fire. I'll light a fire. Light a fire for, I don't know, 30 minutes? Come back and grab torches. Let's go see if we can get a bird. I guess I could cook the bird on the fire too, if I use my... Alright, we need to put... Oh, drop that. Put a couple more sticks on there. Alright. I don't know where the birds went, but I'm going to try and get one. I didn't even see them on the way, and I only heard them. So let's just get to the high point and see if we can't spot them from there. I'm not hearing them anymore. I might have scared them away. I'm not seeing them. Oh, well, there's some more sticks, I guess. Wait. I think I'm hearing their sounds, but I don't know from where. I don't see the birds anywhere. Oh, here they are. Alright, they're all moving. A lot. This guy might be hittable. Okay. I need him to stop. Maybe right there. Ooh, right on the head. Ooh. Alright, we're gonna drop him and go find our fire real quick. So we got food. Oh shoot, I'll just go back to the fire with him. We got a couple more of these. I really don't need the down, so I think I'll just take the meat. Leave the bird by the fire. We can cook both pieces of meat. I don't know if we'll get one or two. We can cook it all here, though. Drop them. 23 minutes. What do we got? How about water? Perfect. Alright, there is two. Six minutes for those. Harvest. Okay. So we have some extra sticks we can throw on this fire. We have fire we can take back with us. We have meat we can eat right now. I mean, as soon as we cook it. Let's put that one on first. 12 minutes for that one. Gonna need a little bit more sticks. I don't think I'm waiting for anything. No. I guess I could sharpen my knife again. Or take apart this torch. I'll just harvest the torch then. There we go. Good use of time. Was there another one over here? I think that was the only one. 
All right, we got food. All right, 27 minutes on that. I guess more water. I can drink now. I think it is time to sharpen my knife. 14 minutes. The fire should have a couple minutes left after that. And we're tired. <laughs> three minutes on the fire. Or three minutes on the meat. Let's eat that. And then we'll grab this water and our can. I don't know if we want to bring the carcass back. That's a weird sky. Why is it all green? That's strange. Alright, let's light a torch. Yeah, let's just light one. Or grab one. There we go. I don't think I'm going to need this, but I'm going to take it with me. I can't run. I don't think I want that anymore. I don't want the down that badly. I can't think of a use for the down. I need to make it back to that cave before it gets blizzardy. I don't know why the sky was green. That doesn't inspire confidence. <laughs> I don't really need the fire, I suppose. Alright, so tomorrow morning when I can see if there's good visibility. If there's not, I have that book I can read and then I can leave that behind in the cave as a fire starter for later. That'd be cool. But what I'm thinking is... Auto walk. Engage. What I'm thinking is I'm just going to get this stuff done tomorrow morning. We're going to check. We're going to find the memento cache. We're going to check on that corpse that's near the bear cave. We'll just have to scope out the area. But we had a little snack. We had some fresh meat. And now... I don't think I need to eat for the rest of the night, but I might as well have a granola bar or something. When we get to Broken Railroad, I'm going to be able to stuff myself on all the bear meat and wolf meat I want. We still have all that stuff left behind. Might as well grab this. If we're going back to the cave, we're going to be over encumbered. We're completely tired. We can carry 25 kilograms, but we're, but we're carrying 33.3. No burdock root. Do I take it? I don't really need it right now. I don't need problems. Just need to make it back. And we already looked at that cairn. Its story has not yet been written. Okay, new torch. That's enough of that. Although I will try to take this one with me. Just till we get back to the cave. We're almost there. carrying 33. Oh, right, we left a lot of our gear with that dead guy in the cave. Let's not leave it there when we try to get to Broken Railroad. <laughs> so, let's see. There's nothing else to discuss, right? We're just back to the cave, sleep, do our thing, in the morning, go collect the memento cache, that's important, and then... I don't even really need to map the area. I do want to map just the exit to Forlorn Muskeg if I can, right before I cross through. But it's it's super unimportant. It's it's not that important. It's something I can do anytime I make the transition. How is my fire still going? I can't run. So we won't find out that fast. But we're on our way. And there are a lot of stones here. I guess I don't need this torch anymore. Of ruined ones. An hour 30 left on this. I guess let's put some more water on there. 
I think I'll try to eat something canned. Maybe the dog food. Yeah, I'll have some dog food tonight. Let's try this one. That way I have two cans to cook with. Because I only have the one water can. There's two at the fire here, but I'd rather leave two behind. Alright, we're plenty taken care of. I don't know if it's sleepy time just yet. Let's check on the time. That's not how you do it. There we go. So it's, uh, it's a little bit into the night. We can definitely sleep now. I just need to wait till this water's done. So let's grab our things. Maybe drop off the extra sticks. We can break down those torches while we wait. Oh, we only got seven. Um, yeah. I want to grab all my things before we go. Yeah, all things that I'm going to be taking with me. Alright, we're good. Alright, so there's just these torches. So we'll grab these. So we made it to the south side. We didn't have all the food that I had imagined because we took it with us earlier at some point, and I forgot. I think there's still some left over in the cave, but we're not heading back that way. Uh, there's a matter of pulling torches to put this fire out as well. Ooh, it's a blizzard. Well, I'm glad I'm in here <laughs> and not out there. Two minutes left on that. I'm just gonna pull torches and go to bed. I'm not trying to make this fire last all night. And we'll figure out what torches we're bringing with us tomorrow and which ones we're leaving behind. The water's done. Our fire's done. Our tiredness is all the way up. Or our rest is all the way depleted, whichever way you want to look at it. Alright, there goes our fire. And that's fine. Take those, we'll leave the cans top off our water, and we can sleep for 12 hours, which I fully intend to do. That'll take us to mid-morning, and heal up our health a lot, I think. Um, hopefully the weather's nicer, not a blizzard, otherwise I'm going to be reading my book. Alright, we need water immediately, so we'll do that. The weather looks fine, I'm going to grab my bag, we'll see what, we'll see what we can do. Now, I don't think we can start a fire for free, but we'll try. We'll take the charcoal. Um, no, no free fires. We got a couple extra sticks from breaking down all those torches. Okay, got just over a liter of water. We got our two cans, we have six pieces of charcoal. I don't know if I need all that. I'm actually going to drop a few off with this guy back here. But... See, is there any place I need to map? So there's just this cave area that's like right here. This is where the memento... Oh, wait, no. It's up here. Yeah, I'm super not interested in what's over there. I want to get this area mapped and that's it. So I'll just bring two pieces of charcoal maybe. And then that's it. So not a free fire yet. I'll take another stone with me. So I'll just grab, I don't know, that one. I don't see the wolf out here right now. In case there is a wolf though. Oh, how many torches do I have? A bunch. <laughs> I probably could have left a couple behind, but it doesn't matter that much. So if there is a wolf over this ridge, I'm going to have to use my match. Uh, weather check super quick. Air temperature negative 39 Celsius, wind chill negative 16 Celsius. Which is not quite strong enough to blow out a torch, but it's pretty close. I hear a wolf. Oh, I forgot about these saplings. I wonder if the wolf is out on the ice or up on this ridge. Probably on the ice, right? I'm gonna grab these saplings first. I don't see the bear anywhere yet. I would expect the bear to be somewhere out there, but if it's early in the morning, maybe closer to the cave. It's uh, mid-morning, so I'm going to go drop these saplings off real quick. I forgot about these things. I'm going to grab another stick. Why not? I don't know where that wolf is coming from. Oh, 
Oh, there's a stick over here. <laughs> you should be able to snap a stick or two off of limbs. I guess if I'm heading back to the cave, I'll take this. Yeah, I don't know where that wolf went. The weather's not too bad, though. It's a little chilly, but the visibility is high. The sun's not quite out, so no fire, but we're not losing heat that quickly. Alright, we just need to drop some things off. We need to get at least the birch saplings to start curing over here. So I'll put it with the other one. That's like five of them. That's nice. That's uh, 15 arrow shafts. That's not it. Where's my guy? And then... Okay. Now we're ready. I suppose I can eat something too. Alright, let's warm up just a second. I'm gonna eat something. There. Um... What do I have? This small, but... Probably this thing, the chocolate bar, 250. Or maybe I could do the 300. Let's go for the 250. Dang, I could have doubled that. All right, and I did. All right, there we go. We've consumed as much food as we can. We're still carrying so much extra. It's all these torches, I'll bet. I guess I don't need all these torches. These ones are crap anyway. There's 12. Alright, there's 11. Let's use this one. Save a little bit of weight there. Oh, I'm... I was going to check for the wind speed, but, uh... Walked into shelter, apparently. negative 15 wind chill so all right first I want to be able to spot the bear so that's what we're keeping our eye out first and then kind of want to see where that wolf is coming from we do need to make it across to the arch and then I'm not sure where to go from there I can't see the bear yet it's all so far away But luckily, I also don't see a wolf, so I think we're clear on that. I might want to grab my rifle. I don't know. So I can aim and, like, zoom in just a little bit. Try to see if we can use our telescope. <laughs> spot the bear off here. I'm not really seeing anything I would consider. Alright, here we are at like a high point. We want to go down there. We think the memento cache is like right there on the wall. I don't think that's, that's a log. We're just about tired. No idea. Wait. I don't know. I don't see anything yet. I probably just missed it, but... Let's keep an eye out over here. We still need to cross this log. Oh, there's something happening. Rose. Okay. I thought maybe that was a wolf running across the ice from the bear. Which would give me a good idea of the overall picture of things that are happening if it was true. But it's not true. The crows seem higher today. I'm thinking of different crows. Hmm. Can't place it, though. Alright, we're getting closer to the sounds. And the wind is picking up. It's a little bit more cutting. So now it's wind chill's negative 20. That'll blow a torch out. So if we want to scare a wolf now, we have to either use the flare gun or a flare. 
And those are a little bit more rare. All right, I don't see the bad guys. Is that the is that the wolf over there? No. I don't know where the bear is, but I guess I'll go up to this ridge. It's kind of cold out. <laughs> this wind is pretty cutting. I wonder if I'll have to go back. Oh, I guess I can go off this. Okay. I think I can go up this rock and possibly see things. Yeah. Okay, cool. Maybe I can even hide on this other side of it from the wind. Alright. There, we're sheltered. So I don't see anything directly down there that's going to mess with us. And there is a clear shot to... We could even go that way and come back instead of trying to mountain goat straight down. I don't see the bad guy. Anywhere. So only slight nervous making. I was hoping they'd be spottable somewhere out here, but... No idea. Alright, I need to find a way down. I think if we just go right over here, this looks pretty mellow. Yeah. I might even be able to get back up that. What? Hold on, can I? Wow. Hold on, do I have my crampons on? No. I guess I do want the insulation. If it's gonna be this chilly out. Okay. I think I might want this. The wind calmed down again. I don't know what just happened. So it got foggy. Obviously if it's foggy, it's not windy. I'm looking for a memento cache down here and I'm not really sure what form it's going to take. Looks like a bow and arrows. A broken arrow. Survival bow at 32%. That's not bad. That's a few shots. Got some matches from Buddy here. A couple of feathers. That's enough for some more arrows. Well, fire hardened arrows. <sighs> Open rock cache. Found it. Okay, we got an MRE at 32%, a stim, dog food, and accelerant. We're going to take all of that because I don't anticipate being able to find that again. And there were some cattails too, I think. Let's leave those for now. We have plenty of food for now. I think I'd rather have this type of flare. Except that I'm not sure about the bear situation, so I'm going to try this one out. I think I can, I think I can just hug this... Uh, the side. I don't think I have to go out on the lake at all. But I'm half expecting to see a bear tiptoeing around here. <clears throat> so there's some cattails down there. Uh, let's see. I'm going to stay high on this hill so that maybe I can see over it. I don't see that wolf yet. I really don't know where it is. It's got to be near the tracks then. When we were out the other day, we did find them across on the north side of this uh, map. Just over there. And I think we've had some near the exit to Broken Railroad chase us around. <coughs> Alright, I don't see the bear. I think we're pretty good. I think we're just good to go. We have a few extra things we don't really need on us right now. I don't see the bear. I'm going to switch to this flare. And head over there. I feel like I have tried to map this before. <laughs> anyway, this is the... Uh, this is the exit. So this is the area I wanted to get on the map. Just to put the little arrows there and... and be certain that that's where the exit is. Yeah, it's right here. I'm just gonna map it. 
It's like that. We'll see what happens. Hey, there it is. To Broken Railway. I was saying railroad this entire time. You know what? The wind isn't that bad. I can probably use a regular torch here. Alright. Wolf coat. That's what I have in mind. So here we are. Broken Railroad. We're gonna get that wolf coat. That way wolf pelts are useful to us for the rest of the game. There might be a couple of wolves along the way. I'm not interested in killing any more of them just yet. Since we have, like, Mondo food and pelts and guts and all the things we might want. Just waiting for us down at the garage. Where there's also a workbench, so we'll be able to actually do something with all that, too. Ooh, it is inside, though. So... <clears throat> Ooh, my throat's doing crazy stuff today. Coffee's too harsh on me. <laughs> Alright, I don't see any wolves yet. Thought that was one. I don't think I want to go down this way. Is this another way into the garage side? I'm not sure if it is. I don't think it is. No. That's not the same way. Oh my. Why? <clears throat> I don't think I have that much farther to go. <clears throat> we gotta make it over that one avalanche spot. Yeah, okay. All right, there we go. <sighs> I'm probably just dehydrated. That's probably what's happening with my throat. All right, I have to go over this pile of junk. It's actually warm out now. Feels like two, nice. Landslide, that's what they're calling it. We can go over landslide pretty easily. I think. Let me put the crampons on. There. So we're not warm anymore, but at least we'll sprain less ankles this way. They said. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. <clears throat> one of these paths will let us go up. <laughs> I don't know which one, but one of them. There. Oh, did we just circumvent a cave? I wonder if there's any meat at that cave system. I thought that was a torch way up there on the hill. I'm gonna check. I'm pretty sure there's a cave just over this way. Is it a cave or is this just a path? This might just be a path. This is just a path. This is not a cave. Okay. Wrong part of the map. I had a different part in my head. Alright, 110. I'm definitely not going over two hours today. I kind of way overdid it last time. If I want to play more, I will just do another stream at some point. <laughs> I'm hearing the wolf. I don't know where it is. But after we do get our wolf uh, coat, then I want to go right to HRV, pretty much. Pretty much right, too. I guess I see a stick, so I'm going for it. I don't know. There might be a couple sticks down here. I just worry a little bit about what's on the other side. Like, is there going to be a wolf right here? There could be a wolf over there. There's uh, some sort of... The crow's... The birds of death are gathering over there. There might be feathers for us. 
Same down here. Wonder if I should go that way. That looks like a person. Yeah. I think. I think so. We'll just check. I don't think I can start a fire for free. No. But it was worth a check. Alright, I think I do want to go down here. Because there's this corpse over here. I don't know if there's a wolf back here. I somehow doubt it. <laughs> I don't know if that's supported by any sort of evidence at all. Probably not. Oh, there's like another little derailment thing up here. Okay. I don't see any feathers. Wait. I take it back. I see one. Hard to see the feathers in all this grass. I guess that's it. Two feathers. Score. Um, there was a sapling over here. I'm hearing that wolf get closer. <laughs> I think it's at the garage. It's gotta be. That's where they all hang out anyway. There's gotta be some good stuff at the garage. Okay. We're warming up again. Even with our crampons and not our insulation. All right, just barely afternoon. Don't know where the wolf might be. A lot of scrub brush around here. And sticks, hold on, was that a wolf? No. I thought that the dark piece of railroad was a wolf. Now he might be just over this spot here. No? Okay. I think I'm going to get up on this ridge so I can see a little bit further away than if I was just down in the middle of the road. So I kind of expect all the wolves to be right over here. This is, we're heading towards the garage. And they're always just a bunch of wolves. The bear is probably back. It's been a while. There might even be a bear pelt for us here. We don't need it yet but we might want to bring it with us so that it's in a region that's closer, if we have carry capacity. I don't see the wolf yet. It's looking closer and closer to being sunny out. Let me try to start a fire. It'd be nice to have a fire going into a wolf conflict. Dang, nothing yet. There's a wolf. He's right where we want to be. Oh, he was just walking right over here. Let's see if there's any feathers with this guy over here. Is there more than one wolf? No, maybe not. He might run from us, especially if we sneak up on him. I don't know if we'll light our torch fast enough before this close. I'm gonna try to make it over to this truck and go inside of it. We don't have another escape route, so we'll be counting on our fire, which we're not. We could just light it. Why am I so stingy with my matches that I won't light this? Where'd he go? <clears throat> He's somewhere out in this yard. Oh, that was weird. My character started getting flipped sideways there. Oh, he's way over there. I could go in the back door, actually, if there's not another wolf. Let's do this. Get away from the egg entrance. Oh, he ran. Let's run towards him then.
Yeah, I'm out of run. <laughs> Alright. So there's a wolf just outside, but I don't care. We are kind of out of rocks, though. We have two left. Um, here we are. We made it. Um, wolf pelts, bear hide, lockers full of other stuff that is similar. I don't need the bear hide. I don't know how many bear uh, skins I need. Let's double check our uh, crafting station here. Crafting menu. Got the bear skin coat. All right. Wolf skin coat. It takes four of them. I have another one of those somewhere. How many guts? And four guts. Okay. We got 20. <laughs> 24. Alright. Dang, we have a lot of feathers, too. And books. And stuff for starting fires. Alright, we can drop off some of this stuff, too. Um, What are we carrying? Matches? We got extra matches. We got extra bottle of accelerant. Stuff that we found at that one. We have an extra stim. We don't need that right now. Two is good. Two is plenty. We got that old MRE we could eat. We're not going to be using that. Uh, survival bow. We have that broken arrow we could break down. We'll harvest that. Whew. Well, let's see. What do we got going on? I guess I could put that in my lantern. <laughs> we are running a little bit low on lantern fuel. Almost half gone. I don't know if there are any more bottles of oil. Oh, there's more food here. We don't need it. In fact, we should probably drop off some of our food. Like all of our cans. Well... Okay, we can leave some of it. So many MREs. Okay. I mean, I don't really need all our MREs. If we ever needed to eat anything, boom. Like, there's food. Bear steaks, forever. It's gamey. 90%. A little bit of meat for later. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where the wolf went. He's in there somewhere. Alright, so we have all the things we need. We can drop off some of these sticks, too. We have so many things here. I guess if I wanted to start a fire, I should probably start it with a book, right? I have so many of these now. I could just throw them on the fire as fuel, too. Alright. I don't care about him. Alright. I kind of wish I had more fuel. Did I leave, like, a jerry can around here somewhere? I must have. Am I going to need to go fishing? To get some fuel? Oh well. It's a mystery. We don't know. There were jerry cans around here somewhere, though. I remember, like, leaving them. Maybe they're still... They were, like, over here. There was a few of them. Alright, whatever. This so there's a workbench over here. Here's one thing. Wolf skin coat. It's gonna take 25 hours. So we can spend... Let's just see how many we can do. Let's try for let's try for seven. I don't think we have seven hours of sunlight. But we'll try. And it's dark. If there's an aurora, we could keep going. Yeah, it requires light to craft. I'm not gonna burn through all this light, but I'll i I'll turn this on just so we can make it back out. Alright, so we worked as much as we could today.
We can sleep in a bed. That's kind of nice. Snack on some meat. I'll just have one in the morning, I guess. There's more torches if I needed one. Which I don't. I know there were jerry cans. Are they in here? No. I could swear. More torches, okay. Well then I don't know why these are here. Were they all really bad ones? They're kind of bad ones. If I'm gonna put torches in something, keep the 11. Okay. Maybe I brought them with me somehow. That would be ridiculous. Oh, maybe I left them over here. Oh, here they are. Okay. Jerry cans. That one's got a bunch. Let's refill this thing. I missed them on the way in. That's fine. I could grab a different pry bar. Or a different hunting knife. I might do that. Alright, let's sleep. No reason not to sleep now. I mean, I guess it's not quite sleepy time. We're not going to make it till morning if we do it that way. But it could be an aurora and we could get an early start. And if not, we can probably break down the chair. Or go find another crate somewhere. It'll be fine. Let's sleep as much as we can. I don't think we're going to make it to the morning. It is an aurora, though. So I could either try to break down the chair, or we could go... I guess I need another bottle of water. Let's try and make... Watch out for this wire. we try and finish this bear coat right now. Ew, not that wire. Look out. Alright. Let's drink some water. We don't need food yet. And then let's get as many hours as we can on this bear coat. Wolf skin coat. And let's use our other knife. So we'll go for five hours. How is there not light now? Okay, so there's no more light. Alright, whatever. I'm going to go over this way. I'm going to break down a crate. I see a crate. We don't need this one, do we? And there's light. Is there anything in here? No. There's another crate back here we can get to. Actually, there's two more. There's one down there. But I think we can, as long as we don't break down, I don't want to break down the planks. Like, I'd still like to be able to get up here at some point. Where is our workbench? I'll bet I can find it. So it's a little bit forward. Oops. Cardboard box. No. Alright. I'll light the lantern. Oh, it's right there. I was so close. Alright, I'm going to top off the water. And I'm going to try working on this coat a little bit more. We'll spend our day doing this. Let's go five hours at a time. I might need to get some water and food after five hours. Yeah, let's go snack. Let's go get another bottle of water. We'll come back and finish up as much as we can. And that'll be another day. But we're closer to getting our bear coat. I think we got one more day after that. All right, let's go ahead and have a steak. I'm happy with that. We're good. Let's grab one more bottle of water. Drink it up. And then we'll go work, I don't know. Seven hours, eight hours. We'll see how much time we can get out the rest of the day. I don't know how much more time we need to take. But I can check that too. So here we are. 14.12 hours. Let's go for seven. I might need to drink after seven hours. Should be good on food. Should be pretty close to sunset by then. Ooh, we got an aurora, but I didn't use the radio at all. I wonder if that might have benefited us. All right, let's drink some more water. And then I'm just going to go for... I'm going to try for another seven hours, and we'll see what happens. Yeah, I'll just try to finish it. 
If there's an Aurora, this might happen. Otherwise, we're going to get booted out here. Yeah. Nothing. We're kind of in the same boat as we were the other day, where we don't have enough uh, fatigue to get us all the way through the night. I think we could eat one more bear steak, and uh, just go to bed, I guess. And then I guess we'll hope for another Aurora, and we can use that light to get this done. So we'll just sleep maximum. It'll still be sometime late night, super early morning. And there's kind of a blizzard or something. So no Aurora. Can't use that. Maybe I can saw this chair apart. Two hours? Ooh, it's letting me do it. And it's morning. Nice. I didn't see the extra torches here. Where were these going? Okay. Uh, I need more water for sure. Might grab two bottles this time. We'll eat another one of these. There's still a wolf out there, apparently. He should be very afraid by now. Alright, we only need to do this for seven and a half hours. That will only put us to afternoon, early afternoon. Kind of hard to see right now. Oh, don't tell me I have to light my lantern just to find this workbench. Alright, here's the truck. Alright, where's my workbench? I can't see it. It's right under my nose, isn't it? How did I get so... Oh, over overstepped it. Okay, wolfskin coat. Now there's 5 hours and 33 minutes left. I forgot we got a little bit of time in. There we go. So let's just craft it. Nothing standing between us and wolfness. Simple fishing lure. I'll bet we could do even better fishing lures. This one requires a uh, revolver shell casing. Interesting. And then this one requires acorns wait what about the one that requires like a wire oh here it is that's a nice one rose feather and a wire and scrap metal it takes an entire scrap metal for that hook okay speaking of i'm carrying extra stuff and i guess i don't need these right now let's wear this and then let's grab so this is a 3.9 so it'll protect against four this one is better only at defense <laughs> no it's the same hold on what yeah it's 0.4 okay so it's it weighs 1.5 kilograms more and it's better defense but i don't think that matters if it's on the inside layer like this Minus 15 for our sprint. So we're really not sprinting if we're wearing that. But it is renewable. <laughs> Cloth is less renewable. But also near infinite. Like, I don't know anybody who's used all of the cloth. But I made this, and I'm going to wear it. Also, now we're heavy. <laughs> Let's go put my expedition parka somewhere where I won't lose it. Right on this desk, how's that? There, now I can tell what it is. Well, that's all I wanted. Time to go to HRV, I guess. Let's eat. Bon appetit. Wolf meat. Or that's bear meat. That's like nothing. Alright, I guess I'm taking the rest of these. Why wouldn't I bring these? Alright. I guess I'll... I'll wait... See if I can't spook it. 
Uh, we're carrying almost 50. That's so much junk. Okay. Let's put away the metal. What am I carrying here? Okay. Transfer all the metal. I guess we can transfer the cloth. So much food I don't need right now. Alright, we'll transfer the book. And we'll drop off the wood. That's still going to leave us pretty over-encumbered. I just keep picking up more and more things. There's one right there. There might be another one out there. 46 now. That's so excessive. Okay. I'm carrying an extra knife. I can drop that. We actually... That thing was at like 70%. Now it's at like 50. Oops. Alright. I guess that works. Um, I could take a smaller flashlight and save 0.25. I could put this away and just keep the tea on me. There's also... Hold on. How much tea do I have? None of it's warm. It doesn't need to be in the thermos. Let's take it all out. There. That's what I'm carrying. Um... I need all of this stuff. I don't need to be carrying as much clothing as I am. There's also the matter of there's a bunch of more feathers. Did I drop off the arrow? The... Yeah, the bow and arrow and all that. I don't really need this on me at all times. That's 0.75. It's just that much food. These are all 0.5. And the water. I have more than one liter. Alright, this isn't light a fire for free weather, is it? I don't have a stick. Okay, we get it. You're loud. Where is he? I think if I just made a run for it, I'd be fine. What am I doing? No idea where the wolf was. But he doesn't seem to care right now. So there were more feathers I could have taken, but I don't know why. I'm so over-encumbered right now. Alright, let's just get out of here. One more day. But let's get back to... Let's see, how do we get to HRV? So we know we could go north if we take... If we take the north route and go back to our cave where we have that ruined venison then we can... Oh, uh, we have to climb that rope to make it to Mountain Town that way. I think we just go along the railroad tracks all the way across. I think we try to make it to Mystery Lake. That's what we're doing. Oh, I don't have that much energy. But the weather's kind of nice. Please don't be wolf. Okay, so far so good. So am I trying to take the south route or the north route across Forlorn Muskeg, or am I going right across the middle and just kind of like sidestepping the bear? What am I actually doing with it? 
I don't have the energy to be sprinting. We left our expedition parka behind. We're still looking for the best sweater in the game. We have one of them. We're looking for a second one. We're still wearing the fisherman's sweater. Everything else is pretty much maxed out. The only thing I don't have is deerskin boots. We got a pair of deerskin pants just from finding it. I don't remember where, but we found one. It was a good find. I think I'm going to try and hang out low down here. I think the wolf is more likely on the other side. I guess maybe it could be right here, but... Oh. Oh. Oh, what am I doing down here? Okay. I don't know why I took that route. That afraid of wolves. But we're done in Broken Railroad. Time to move on. If we can make it to Mystery Lake, that'd be good. In any way I want to get to Mountain Town, I have to, uh... I have to leave something behind. I can't climb. I can't climb with my weight as it is. I need to reassess what I carry with me. I need to have a heart-to-heart. -heart and sit down and talk about it. I think... I don't really need the Travoy. That's one kilogram. Um, I don't really need the Thermos and all of that tea. I can probably just carry a couple teas. Like, two birch bark tea and two coffee is probably enough. Alright, back to landslide. Almost there. Um, so then, yeah, if I'm not using the Thermos, which I almost never use... That's another 0.2 plus, um, let's see, what do the T's weigh, like, 0.1 per T? Oh, is this the way? The way to get down from this rock without rolling my ankles? Yeah, I think we made it. I think we're alright. Okay, cool. Still not nice enough. Well, you know what? Let's check on the weather here. Okay. We only have three sticks. Hmm. I want to carry a lot less stuff. I guess I could just do one flare. The rifle is a choice. Now we do have Vaughn's rifle, which is a little bit lighter than the normal rifle. So we're already doing that much. If we have the rifle, we don't really need the flare gun. If we have the flare gun, we don't really need the rifle. Unless we want to hunt. Now, the flare gun, I guess, could be used for hunting, but it's mostly just for warding off predators. Which is really... I don't know. If I'm trying to make distance fast, that's what I'd want to be doing, right? So... I don't know if I want to go over there. Ugh, there's, no, there's sticks, though. Let's hope there's not wolves. Okay, nothing yet. Couple more sticks back here. Noted. It's always hard to see them in the grass. They, they like, blend in. Okay. Almost back to Forlorn Muskeg here, and we could try to go up to the cave we were at and then trace the south side of the... If it's getting foggy, I'd rather do that than go across the middle. We'll see how foggy it gets. It's just kind of overcast right now. Not super foggy. The other thing I could try to do, since I don't have fire, is just pack everything in the Travoy and try to take that. But I don't know if that's really what I want to do. Especially in a place like uh, Forlorn Muskeg, where falling through the ice is a distinct possibility. That was burnt out torches. 
Nice. Take those with us. There's just all these fireplaces, just all these fire pits. Yeah, we could just head south. Oh, it's foggy here. It's foggier here than it was over there, I'm pretty sure. Which means not much wind to knock out my flames. I think I want to go... If I go to the north side, I can just go to the cave, drop things off there. The only thing, that's a bigger climb. I'd rather... Let's go toward Trappers, I think. Let's go the south route. So I'm going to try to make it up this ridge somewhere. I think that there was a spot on the side that was working out for us. Because there could be a bear anywhere along this railroad track. I don't think that's the way. Let's go around. Oh. Somewhere over here. I might want to put on my crampons here. It's not particularly cold today, so let's get that sure footing benefit. This might be our way up. Yeah, I think this is it. This is where we came down that one day. Alright, so we dropped a few things off at Broken Railroad. We now have a wolf skin coat. I hear crows. I can't see much. It's pretty foggy. But yeah, we are covered in furs now. That's pretty cool. We just need uh, deerskin boots, and then we won't be able to sprint at all. <laughs> we'll have all of the uh, sprint-limiting clothing on. I guess I could spend time outdoors breaking down branches while we wait for the day to pass. It's almost dusk. This will be... I don't know. Let's get over to the cave, drop some things off, maybe make some choices. I could leave a Travoy there for, like, ever. Or maybe I can make it down to the good cave, where I have the extra food. Maybe I can make some food choices. I did grab everything from Broken Railroad, so I have a ton of food on me. But I just ate the bear meat this morning, so I'm not even hungry yet, really. Not hungry enough for even a chocolate bar. I think I do need another stone. I'll grab one real quick. That is another thing. Maybe I don't need to carry three stones at all times. Maybe two is enough. It sucks to only have one and then lose it and not have any. Three has always been really nice to have. I don't probably need ten torches. It's just like a, a good round number for like... I don't know. When you're doing some sort of trip or something. I'm going to take this route with me. Give me something to do in the cave while I'm waiting for the visibility to improve. Or waiting until I get sleepy. Either way. i got to do something with my time. I wonder if that ptarmigan was still there. Like, I could pull down off of it. I guess if there's nothing else to do, I'll go look for it. We'll see if there's, like, wood to break down. That probably... That's probably a little bit higher priority. Or I can sprint a little bit, so that when we get there, and it's nighttime, I'm actually tired enough to sleep. But we're losing carry capacity as we go below halfway. As we deplete our rest meter. So somewhere up here, we should start seeing a fallen tower. And then to the right of that, there'll be a cave that we can stay in. Somewhere. Oh, hold on. Yep, that looks like the Fallen Tower. There's a lot of branches out here we could break, too. Now, there could be a wolf out this way, so I'm just gonna... hang out on the right side, as far as I can get. There's actually mushrooms here, too. I don't know if I want to hang out in this cave, or just keep going. I'll come out and get the mushrooms if I want. Let me process the burdock, drop off some things, 
And then there's mushrooms here. There's mushrooms on some stumps over there. If I need more things to do, I can go grab those. That'd be fine. Okay, so we're back in the cave. We got some ruined torches we can process. We could potentially try to get further along to the like the forge and the other cave. We'll see if we have anything to drop off with this dude. Not really. We are maybe carrying a bit too much tea, but... <clears throat> I don't think this is where I want to leave it behind. So I guess we'll drop the sticks, and then we'll drop... I don't know what else. Let's see. I could read while I'm still awake. That might not be the worst option, actually. Let's, let's go ahead and read while we're still awake here. So this will improve our archery skill. One hour. Oh, the weather does look better. For visibility, anyway. Where's the wolf? Only our set of footprints that I can see. That's all right. I mean, I can... I'm going to read. We'll try and get a few more hours of reading done. That'll bring us right up to sleepy time. I think we have enough. I might need to drink before we read our next chapter. Let's try that. It looks dark out, but if it's giving us enough light, I'm going to go for it. Uh, let's see, how do we get to a book fastest that way? Alright, last hour. Will it give it to us? Then we can leave this book behind as fire starting material in the cave. That's good for us. Alright. Archery skill improved. Didn't make it to a new level, but that's okay. We don't have to carry this book around. That's point five For later. For something else. I don't know where this book goes. It goes there. Okay. Time to eat and drink and go to bed, right? Yeah, it's sleepy time. And we should wrap it up here, too. We're actually low on water. Although we don't need much water. We'll get more water in the morning, I guess. There's more. There. We have water. We have food. This is... I guess that's the next thing to eat. We're just not going to be able to finish the whole thing. It's all good, though. Come on, no food poisoning. We ate about half of it. Okay, cool. We'll drink some water. Alright, tomorrow I want to head towards HRV. That's basically what we're going to do. So we'll wake up. We'll try and trace the south route all the way across Forlorn Muskeg, weather permitting. We will avoid wolves as necessary. Ooh, I'll bet we can start a fire. It looks windy out, but... Dang it. Doesn't it kind of look... Oh, I see snow now. I see the snow. I don't know what we're going to do today. It, the visibility is high enough. Let's check on the temperatures. So, it's looking like air temperature, negative 46. That's a pretty cold day. The wind chill is also not registering yet. Negative 24, that means not a torch will be brought. But I have flares. I have more food. I could camp out. I could break down those torches. I don't think I did that yet. If I don't break them down, I'll want to leave them behind. We could potentially leave the Travoy in one of these caves, too. I don't know if this is the cave for it, though. I'd rather do it somewhere closer. Like that central cave that's near the, uh... The forge. That's probably the one I want to go to. So tomorrow when I pick it up... I don't really need to do any more mapping. We've done a lot of that. We are currently right here, and we want to get, well, eventually, here. Go to Mystery Lake, go up, leave some stuff at Trappers, make some, make some big decisions about what loot we want with us and what loot we can leave behind for good or f until later. And then 
Yeah. Maybe we can leave some of it here. Or we can bring it all the way back to, like, trappers, which is probably the way we'll go. We'll go just go up to trappers because the hydro dam is its own thing, and I don't know, it's way out of the way. But we'll see what weather lets us do. If we can make it to here, that's one step, right? We're way over here. We're going to pass through here. We're going to have to go to here, probably stop here. Then we'll head up this way, probably more wolves until we get there. So we're gonna need nice weather in order to make it. That's about it. I swear the weather looks like I can make a fire. Oh, now I can. Okay, so we know that if we wait a little bit, we might get a chance to make a fire. Cool. All right, until next time, peace.